Jay, what is happening? Practicing being a secret agent. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, except I can see you in the reflection on my phone. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. And I'm Jay. Welcome to Press Play. Emma, I think if I could choose anything in the world to do, I'd be a secret agent. I mean, doesn't it sound cool to go on spy missions all around the world? All the secret passwords, the sneaking around undetected, the disguises, oh, <laughs> and the food. The food? Yeah. You know when, like, secret agents are on a stakeout all night and all they eat is pizza and donuts? <sighs> donuts. I think you've seen too many movies. And. Um, what? Don't take this the wrong way. I think you're great, but being a spy includes things like being detailed, organized, careful, and you're kind of different from any of those things. Well, what do you mean? Okay, okay, so I'm not detailed, organized, and what was the other thing? Careful. Oh, yeah, I'm not exactly careful. But this is the way God made me. And I think there could be a secret agent like me. Fun-loving, freewheeling, and dangerous. How about we find out? Let's do it. Three, Three two, one, one, press play! play. Whoa! <laughs> Where are we? Looks like we're in a crime scene outside of a grocery store. Pardon me, please don't move a muscle. <laughs> I am Detective Klein, but you can call me Detective K. And you two are standing in the middle of a crime scene. And you are about to witness me unravel this crime. Yeah. Someone stole ice cream cones from this grocery store just moments ago. Whoa! So you're like a detective? Is that like a secret agent? Kind of without as much of the secret part. Mm, that sounds even better! Why keep it a secret? Yeah, I want to be a detective. <laughs> I want to be a detective! Okay, maybe a little more of the secret part. Oh, okay, okay, my bad. I'm Jay, and this is Emma. We were just talking about what we can do. I want to be a secret agent. I mean, a detective. But that includes being some things that I'm not. Mm, me too. Really? Really? really. Yep. You see, Emma and Jay, I was born with some pretty bad eyesight. Mm. My instincts are sharper than my people's. If you catch my drift. Consider it caught. <laughs> All right. But the fact that I can't see great actually strengthens some of my other abilities. Really? What do you mean? Well, for example, my heightened sense of smell. It allows me to smell those tiny drops of ice cream. Wow! <laughs> And my heightened sense of taste allows me to know that this is Rocky Road, a popular flavor from the ice cream truck in the area. And my heightened sense of hearing allows me to hear an ice cream truck just six blocks that way. <gasps> this is Detective K ordering squad cars to Oberlin Street. <gasps> there you'll find Ike's ice cream truck and the stolen cones. Wow! You just solved this case! <laughs> Joke. I used to think I'd never be a detective. I mean, a detective who can't do anything without a super strong glasses prescription. Oh. I mean, what are you gonna do? But the people around me always included me yeah. and helped me to see that the things that made me different made me a great detective. Oh! Have you ever heard the story of how Matthew was invited to follow Jesus in Matthew 9? Mm. It is such a cool story about how Jesus included everyone, no matter how different they were. Mm. So, Matthew was different because he was a tax collector for the Roman government. Ooh. Yeah, this was not a popular job to have. It meant that he had to collect money from his own Jewish people. Mm. Tax collectors were known for cheating and lying. Not what you'd expect from a follower of Jesus, huh? Mm -hmm. No. So people were shocked when Jesus pointed right at Matthew and told him to follow him. 
they were even more shocked when Jesus had dinner at Matthew's house that night. No. Mm -hmm. In Matthew 9:11, they asked Jesus' other followers, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? And Jesus had the perfect answer. He said, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Mm. Jesus was telling them that he was going to include people they would never include. Mm. And those people would be the best followers of Jesus because they knew how much they needed Jesus. Matthew knew just how cool and loving it was for Jesus to include him, a tax collector. Mm. So he would try being cool and loving to include others too. You see, just like me, the very thing that made him different made him a great disciple. I didn't know that Jesus made such a big deal of including those who were different. Yep, and because of his example, we can and should do the same. I can include people who aren't like me. Oh, oh. you two have to go. Big idea alarm, right? Wow, you are good. <laughs> Detective K, good work. The stolen cones have been found. You've done it again. Oh, copy. Now, Emma, secret handshake? Uh, I don't know if you know it, but... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> cool! Everybody turn to your neighbor and you do the handshake too! Where'd you get the ice cream? Well... My detective skills tell me... The freezer. We pressed play and ended up in the middle of a crime scene where Detective K was solving a case. She told us her story about including those who are different. She shared with us the story of Jesus calling Matthew, a tax collector, to follow him. Jesus knew that the things that make us different make us awesome. Like Matthew and Detective K, and like all of you. But we only find that out when we follow Jesus' example and include people who aren't like us. Now you know what time it is. Time to... Drop the verse! What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Get your Bibles out! I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. Philippians 4 13. Philippians 4 13. Uh huh! I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. Philippians 4 13. Oh, 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 I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 13, Philippians 4, 13.